Here is the Pocket Account application. This is your personal budget assistant that will help you better understand where your capital is going and why you are struggling to save money. With this application, you can control your financial flows, be it cash or card transactions, and rely on limits inbuilt into the app. With the help of a special service, you can safely view your transactions from your bank account and pocket account. In addition to this, the application will count your income and expenses and will visualize them with the help of graphs and charts for a better understanding of the picture as a whole. In terms of security, the app uses phone number authorization and OTP, so your data will remain only yours. The laconic and meaningful design allows you to start using the application without any onboarding. You can also disconnect your parent account from the application at any time and overview only cash transactions. Sorting functionality will allow you to look back and see where and when you made transactions and sort them by amount or the date of creation. Limits can be created both for cash transactions by category and for car transactions in order to receive timely notifications about your expenses and not to make unnecessary purchases. Limits can be also filtered by the currency you choose, which is also very convenient. Let's move on to an illustrative example. We will use the test number. This is what our design looks like. Below, we have a list of transactions that can be expanded and viewed in full screen format, which is also very convenient, in my opinion. Currently, a bank account is already used here, but I will show how to create it and connect the new one to the pocket account. We will use test data and a test bank After synchronizing our accounts and transactions, we will receive a message that our account has been successfully connected. Now we have access to the list of cards that are in this account. Different currencies are used here, dollar, euro, and the British pound. We will use an ordinary dollar card. Here you can see transactions that are dragged from our bank account and show up in the main list. Here we can sort the list by amount and by date or display them by lowest or highest first. The card balance is displayed from the bank account. We cannot manipulate our card transactions for security reasons. This means that we cannot delete or edit them. However, a user can edit cash transactions created by themselves. As you can see, the amount changes, the balance is calculated. Let's move on to visualizations and graphs. This is what pocket account graphs look like. You may notice that different colors are used here. Some are dimmer, others brighter. This is the difference between bank transactions and those created by us. A brighter graph shows transactions created by the user themselves. A dim color shows card transactions. There's also a list of expenses where the total amount is displayed. Also, here we use a pie chart that counts our created transactions and the list that is sorted by category. So we can see every transaction that's related to this category appears on the list. If we want to create a limit, we will have a progress indicator for it to show how much more we can use from our card before the limit runs out. This way we can set the limit for any category.
We can also sort them by currency. If we choose a currency that we have not used yet, our list of transactions will be empty. But if we create several transactions with the selected currency, everything is displayed. We need two or more transactions to display the graphs correctly. If it is total balance, then we need four transactions. The graph also changes depending on the selected filter type, for example, currency. So if we go back to the dollar currency filter, our data remains the same. That's what pocket account application looks like. Thank you for your attention.